Yo, what up, YouTube fans? It's your boy, Finn Fonte, and today, we're recording a Q&A. Now, just fucking with you, can you imagine if I talk like that, like these other douchebag YouTubers? No, but we seriously are recording a Q&A. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Finn Fonte, and today, I am actually recording a Q&A. Um, you'll... If you view my... If you watch my videos a lot, Jesus, uh, you will by now have noticed that I have been gone for a really long time. And, um, a lot of people who watch my videos all the time probably have guessed the reason for that, but if not, uh, the reasoning is because I was visiting, I'm visiting my mom's again. Um, you see, my parents are divorced, whatever, I've said that enough times, but it's just, I expl I've explained it so many times, but whatever. They're not together, so I visit my dad and my mom all the time, um, and I'm at my mom's right now, and, uh... Yeah, well, the problem has been that my, my computer and my setup and everything has been at my dad. That's where all my equipment has been. And I haven't had anything here that I can record or edit with. Um, but see, I kept saying that I, I thought a fix would be coming soon for this, and it finally has because we sat down the other day, we bought a video, video editing laptop. It's a really nice... Uh, <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm a little bit sick too. Um, it's a really nice laptop for editing vi videos. Yeah. Um, so what that means that I will actually be able to record and edit videos here, which means these giant gaps where I'm not able to upload for like a month, they should finally be over. Uh, this should definitely fix that because I just I leave go to my mom's. There's nothing I can do. I can't record. I can't edit. Um, now, so what I did after I got this laptop is I brought as much equipment as I could, my mic, my camera, my lights, although I don't have lights on because uh, there's enough coming through the windows on the ceiling, uh, but, um, or enough light, I mean, uh, but yeah, I can bring the other equipment, I just couldn't bring my giant computer and shit, um, it's self-built and it's, it's huge and there's no way to transport it without it getting broken and the whole thing was fucked up, but now I can edit um, and everything here on this laptop. It's of course not as nice as the one at my dad's, just because um, the one there I built myself well i had help obviously but i mean self-built uh put a lot of money into it not that this didn't cost a lot of money too um they both cost thousands of dollars but uh the the self-built one's still nicer of course because it's a desktop that's self-built but this is a really exceptional laptop so that's uh that's cool i'm not i i didn't really get any sleep so i'm not really making any sense but anyways <laughs> um sorry for this very 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 late 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 q a but, uh, yeah, you know why I was late. <laughs> but hopefully this, this, this is going to fix a lot of that. So expect a lot less, um, huge gaps of nothing. Um, yeah, I originally had this, uh, Q&A request by Christina Wingfield. So we're going to be starting with her. By the way, Christina, again, I love you. You're always on top of my channel. It really means a lot to me. Um, let's dive right in, I guess. While I'm opening this, I just want to say the channel is approaching, uh, 400 subscribers. And that's really cool because, um... I haven't even, I haven't even been uploading and it's still been growing and it has not ever done that. So that's really awesome. Um, we're approaching 400. Our goal is 500. So that we're almost 80% of the way there. So we're definitely going to make that. I thought we would though. The one thing I did forget like a retard is my mic stand, which is why I'm kind of so awkward with the mic because the mic is just on a, uh, it's on a pole, but no mic stand. It's just a pole that you hold or you're supposed to hold. I put a pillow on top of it to keep it there and it's just... It's been knocked over a few times already, but oh well. So Christina Wingfield, yeah, she said, Hey, Finfante, could you do a QA? and a I love you so much. By the way, I love you so much too. <laughs> um, and of course I said yes, and here I am. Sorry you had to wait so long, guys. I'm, I really am sorry, but I'm really glad to finally be doing it now. Okay, so the first question that I got by Christina Wingfield was, Okay, so the first question I got by Christina Wingfield was, what got you started in YouTube? Um, that's a little bit of a, a complex answer, or a couple part answer, rather. <laughs> um, YouTube, I got started on YouTube, I think I, first, I uploaded my first video when I was 11. Uh, but the reason I got into YouTube, okay, um, let me go back. I guess the first time I ever had a device that could take pictures or even record, but this actually can only take pictures was I got my DSI. Um, you could take pictures on there and you could record audio clips. And, uh, I didn't really know until I got that, how much I enjoyed, um, uh, I don't know, capturing things 
in real life through the device and trying to make stories out of them. Sounds weird, but like I would take the pictures, right? Um, I almost tried to do stop motion because I couldn't do videos. So I take a shit ton of pictures of something and try to make a, a little story out of it. And they were always supposed to be funny. And I was kind of demented even when I was like nine, whenever I was like eight or nine, whenever I had this or something, I don't know. Um, like my sister uh, and me one time, it was like a stop motion thing we were trying to do. We took like Barbie dolls and shit and basically narrated <laughs> her throwing a TV into the bathtub and electrocuting her boyfriend, <laughs> which would be Ken. I don't know, but we thought it was great. Um, but I, I do all kinds of things. We, I always take toys and shit and try to make like a video out of it, of a compilation of photos. Um, and I thought it was really neat and I loved, uh, making people laugh. And I always have made people laugh. Um, just like in real life in school and everything, you know, and then I hate is someone will say, do that again when I say something funny, but like, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just talking and they ask me to do it again. I'm like, do what again? I'm just, <laughs> but um, yeah, I always had an, something for comedy, um, and people have always told me that I should be a comedian and things like that. Um, I might, I don't really think I'm that funny, honestly, but I'm just saying. Uh, and then came the DSI, so that told me, it basically opened my eyes to how much I liked that. Um, and then I got my iPod after I got my DSI, and I really enjoyed, uh, you know, recording videos on there and everything. Um, and I got looking at some other YouTubers and I thought the whole concept was really neat. And, but I, here's the other thing that happened along the road of this, of me discovering that I liked videography and everything. I also discovered that I liked acting and things like that because, um, in fifth grade, uh, we did a play and the play was Anne Frank. Um, and, uh, I played her, not her boyfriend, but some guy, she, I don't fucking know. I played some guy. <laughs> um, and I remember, um, I was in the, whatever class I was in, um, my school did this thing where you had to be in two classes that you, that weren't normal. It was really weird. But one of them was like this acting class I was in or whatever. And, uh, we were doing a play of Anne Frank. And I remember being panicked that I was going to be on stage in front of all these people and have to act. Cause I, I never even thought I wanted to do that. And then when I did it, I fucking loved it. Um, and it, it was, it was awesome. Um, so I really enjoyed doing it and I really want to do it again. Uh, wanted, wanted to do it again. Um, so like everything kind of came together. The fact that I always entertain people and made them laugh just in real life. The fact that I, I love videography and the fact that I, I, it turned out I loved acting and everything. And I kind of just learned, um, through life that I liked these things. I didn't know it originally, but I learned it and YouTube seemed like a great option for me. It seems like something I would really enjoy, and it is something I really enjoy. Um, so what got me started in it was just a number of things that came together and basically told me what it is that I like, because I never was into sports or a specific instrument. I did play violin when I was little, and I and electric guitar now, but not I'm not as into that as YouTube. YouTube's always been amazing. Um, she's not here, Stash. That's uh that's Stash, a cat. She cries for my sister when she's not here. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but anyways, um yeah, so what got me started on YouTube was uh life. <laughs> now Christopher Basaldu, he also asked uh what got me started on YouTube. Um now he asked other questions too, so he's gonna pop back up. But Christopher, feel free to look at the uh thing I said before this, although you you would have already seen that if you're looking at this part. Um but uh yeah, he's going to come back up, so we'll get to your questions too, Christopher, don't worry. Okay, NinjaGamer24 asked, why and when did you start YouTube? Guys, this is a good question, but unfortunately I've already answered it. So NinjaGamer24, feel free to uh, listen to answer. <coughs> but uh, NinjaGamer24 is really awesome too. Um, always supporting my channel, thank you so much for that. I don't know if you asked more than one question or not. Um, but sorry, I, I did answer that. So, I mean, I kind of answered it just before. Yeah. Now, I, I would like to say really quick, I was kind of reluctant on doing a Q&A. This is my first ever Q&A, other than that Valentine's one day I did, but that was a joke. It wasn't really a Q&A. Um, I was reluctant on it because I didn't really think I get a lot of questions because I don't have a, a large fan base. And people ask me all the time, why don't you do a Q&A and a fan meetup on Omegle and all this stuff? And I say, that's awesome. That sounds great. I'd love to, but... I don't have any fans, so I can't really do that. Now, I do have a lot of people who watch. Well, not a lot, but I have a few people who watch now. Um, 
So I figured, what the hell? Christina requested it, and Christina's always there for me. So I figured I'd try it, and um, I think it's a decent amount of questions. So this is cool. But anyways, let's continue. This is another one by Christina. Um, she actually asked a number of questions here, so we'll go uh, a few steps here. First thing she said is, what's your favorite song? Um, what is my favorite song? See, here's the thing. I have a very hard time picking favorites in anything. Uh, most people don't. Like, yes, yeah, so what's your favorite song? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite this? And, and they say this, 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 this. But I'm always stuck between so many things. I honestly don't have a favorite. Stop. I honestly don't have a favorite song, but I do have favorite genres, and that would be uh, heavy metal, um, you know, anything metal of the sort. I like uh, a few bands that I like, I guess it would be Five Finger Death Punch. Some of those are all right, but I'm not totally into them. Um, Pantera, Slayer, uh, Megadeth, um, I don't know, all kinds of shit. Uh, yeah, but anything heavy metal and shit like that, I, I get really into. But I like the heaviest of the music and actually some of the most hateful music. Basically anything that's really heavy talking about and just fuck you. That's me, man. <laughs> that's what I like. But no, no, not a really, not really a favorite song. But um, I appreciate the question. She also said, what's your favorite color? Now, this one is one that I can answer with confidence, and that one is black. Uh, black has always been... Has it always been my favorite color? It's always been a color I liked a lot. I think once I got into middle school is when I really chose it as my favorite color. Um, but yeah, that's why all my clothes are so dark. This is probably one of the lightest shirts I own. Uh, but I, I don't know. I love, I've always loved the color black. I always think it's great, and I, all my clothes are black, like my... Fucking every pair of jeans and every shirt and, like, socks and fucking underwear even. <laughs> like, everything I wear is black. Well, underwear, maybe not. I mean, because who's going to see that? Unless you want to, baby. No, but anyways, um, yeah, black would definitely be my favorite color. Would you ever consider vlogging? Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, I, I, I'm actually considering a number of things for my channel. Uh, taking a new direction and trying to explore other types of or other styles of YouTubing. Um, yeah, actually, I have already thought a lot about vlogging, although my vlogging wouldn't really, it wouldn't really be vlogging, although it would, but I'd probably, like, sunglasses guy, you know, sunglasses guy, that guy, well, um, he would probably uh, do vlogs and shit. Um, but yeah, I would definitely consider that. If that's something you'd like to see, guys, feel free to let me know. Christina, if that's something you'd like to see, feel free to let me know, but I know you will already comment because you always do um and i love you for that but yes yeah, so i would definitely consider vlogging and if you guys if that's what you guys want to see feel free to let me know i love hearing what you guys are interested in yeah i love your amigo videos they're so funny that's just under the comment thank you for that christina i'm really glad to hear that a lot of people like the amigo videos so i'm gonna keep those up a lot um let's get to the next question sorry guys I, i'm a little stuttery and all over the place i my head's not really on right i, I actually am sick so <coughs> that's um that's part of it but once you get back into YouTubing, if you're not doing it for a while, you are kind of retarded. And plus, it's the uh, first time I'm ever doing a setup here. Hello, Stash. How you doing? This is Stash, one of my sister's cats. She's the one that likes me a lot more than the boy. Um, the boy is listed as, and he doesn't really care for me that much. But anyways. <laughs> get off the... No, Stash, don't get on the laptop. God damn it. Kathy Hoekstra? I don't know how to say your name. But I, I hope it's Kathy Hoekstra. Uh, she says, make more shitty animations. It's not a question, but I don't care. <laughs> okay, I actually am going to make more shitty animations. Just probably on a different account. But thank you for that. Let's go to your questions now, though. Um, Want to have babies, smiley face? You fucking know it, boy. <laughs> okay, I've thought about that a lot. Uh... I do. I think one day I want to have kids. Obviously not soon, being that I'm only 17. But um, yeah, I think I would. Yeah, I, I would one day want to have kids. I think uh, probably three or four. Three. I don't know. Um, I'm not totally set on it. I'm not. I don't really have an answer either way. Um, I'm kind of indecisive there. But yeah, I um, I would definitely consider having babies in the future. Uh, probably not with you though. That's why I fuck your bitch, you fat motherfucker. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> wait, wait, if I say I'm just fucking with you, does that mean I'm gonna have babies with you? It's got awkward. We're going to the next question. Why the name Finfante? I've been asked that a lot. Um, and although it is a simple answer, it has a big history. You see, when I opened this channel, I went under the, the username Anthony069277. Um... Uh, 
Sorry, I, people always comment, you're, why are you always looking away when you're talking? I don't know. I do that a lot. I got to stop. Um, well, Anthony came from uh, my baby brother. His name is Anthony. So you got that. I don't know why I chose that, but I did. And 069277 was my lunch code in school at the time. You got to remember, I was only 11 when I made this. Um, and 11 year olds typically don't have the best names. <laughs> Uh, or usernames, I mean. Um, but yeah, uh, Anthony, my little brother, 069277 was lunch code. That later evolved to Evil Eyed Wolf. I just thought that sounded cool, and I've always liked wolves and shit, and I don't know. I've always been into kind of the dark side of things, and when I was little, I thought Evil and Wolf and Eyed, for some reason, was cool. Uh, Evil Eyed Wolf I came up with, and I went under that for a while. Um, I changed the name a few times to some really retarded things. I can't even remember everything I changed it to. For a period of time, it was actually just my name. Uh, finally, I settled on Finfante. And the reason I settled on Finfante is because my name is Frank Infante. Um, it is Italian. Yeah, my uh, last name. Um, so, that's pretty easy. If you knock off... If you just take the first letter of my first name, throw it in front of my last name, you get Finfante. And I thought that sounded pretty cool and um, easy to remember. Uh, I, re relatively easy to remember. And, um, you know, you couldn't do that with everybody's names. Like if your name was fucking George Edison, <laughs> um, and you took the G and it was Jettison that, oh wait, that would actually, that would actually work. Okay. If your name was Tom Fecal Matter and <laughs> you changed it and you made it to Fecal Matter, that wouldn't really sound so good. But for my name, it worked and I rolled with it. I thought it was cool. And uh, no one else, I wanted something original that a lot of people didn't use, and I've never really seen any other Finfantes. Um, so yeah, Christina Ho Hoekstra again. Oh yeah, did I mention that she's the one that said why the name Finfante? I don't know if I did or not, but uh, she said, why am I the only one asking questions? Well, you were on this video that you're commenting on, but you're actually not the only one asking questions, as you've seen earlier in the video. But thank you so much for your questions. When are you going to Amigos so I can see you again? Uh, says um, Kathy. Uh... The problem is I don't have a schedule on things. Um, I try to go in there as much as I can, and I, I will try to let you know the next time I do, but actually asked that a month ago, and as you've seen, I haven't done anything in that time because I haven't been able to. Um, I can't give definite answers on stuff like that, guys. I want to say I get a lot of requests to team up together and make videos together and um, feature each other on their channels, and I'm always saying yes, and I'm always excited to do it, but I'm not blowing you off when, I don't, when I'm not able to... Uh, you know, um, collaborate is what I'm looking for. Collaborate with you when I said I would or wanted to, because I just, I'm not, my life isn't dedicated to YouTube. Although I want it to be, it's not because I have, I'm 17 and I have other things going on and I, I'm limited by a lot of things and I can't give you a definite answer. Oh yeah, I can do that on this day. I don't know. I didn't know I'd even be able to do this today. Just everyone left the house. So I fucking did it. Um, I will try to let you know when I go to Meagle, but it's going to be, it, it's just very random. Everything I do is random. I'm not on a schedule. People ask me about time. Well, okay. When do you normally record? Um, so maybe we could team up then. I don't have a time that I normally record. It's just completely fucking random. And that's the way it is right now. I'm sorry about that, but I do, I am interested in collaborating. It's just not always the easiest thing to do. But anyways, let's continue. What the fuck was that? This is not part of the Q&A, but NinjaGamer24 commented on an old video and said, You made Go Anime videos? Yes, I did. Dark times. Oh my god. I didn't even know my response was, Yeah, yeah, I did. Dark times. I swear to god. Big Protato. Oh, by the way, quick, something interesting about Big Protato. See, I do go on Amigo a lot sometimes. Um... And uh, I have missed Sniper Wolf so many fucking times, okay? I've been so close to seeing her, and I miss it every fucking time, and it makes me angry. Because so often, I go into Meagle, and then the next day, I'll watch her video, her Meagle video, and, like, everybody I talk to will be in that video. One of her recent videos, um, there was this guy that popped up one time. He kind of looked like Keemstar. I told him that. He had a green screen behind him and everything. He was, yeah, he was very recognizable. He was roasting me the whole time. Um... And then, uh, I talked to him for like five minutes probably, then he left. Then her video comes out the next day, he's half the fucking video, the guy I was talking to. I couldn't fucking believe it. Definitely him. It was the same night I was on there. Um, then the night that I met Big Furtado, I met him on Omegle, um, every single person, every single person that I met on Omegle that night was in her next video. 
I couldn't fucking believe it. Because I remember Big Furtado, I was talking to him for a while. Then he left. Then I reconnected with him later after just being on there for a while. And he was freaking out that he just met Sniper Wolf. And he showed me the picture on his phone of uh, you know, her popping up. I wasn't totally sure if he really did or not. Until the video came out. And he's in it. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh my god. Dude. For real. Oh my freaking god. Dude. You shout my myself out on your channel. Okay. That's when I next you. So he did, but I miss it again. I always fucking miss it. I'm on there all the time. I see everybody she sees, but I never see her. Sniper Wolf, get over here. Get, get, come on. <laughs> I keep trying to find you in there, but you keep skipping me or something. It's your fault. I'm not happy about it. But anyways, let's get to his uh, question. For the Q&A, can you suck your mic? Um, and my response was, I guess so. Like, you mean literally suck the mic? Well, I would if I wasn't worried about messing up my microphone. Um, so instead, I'm going to suck a banana. Question when I'm like seven, where do you see yourself in ten years? Oh, I think I'll be deep-throating bananas on camera for all the world to see. Oh, this is what my life has come to, guys. Deep-throating bananas for YouTube. But see, most people say that. They mean for their millions of fans. I mean for... <laughs> the 10 people watching my channel. Although I am very appreciative for you guys. I don't mean it in a bad way, but uh, I don't want the brown part. I want to suck on a, a nice banana, not a gross one. All right, we're throwing the brown part away, and then I'll be back. All right, motherfucker. Time to deep throat this bitch. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Okay. Oh, wait. There's a long stringy thing. I don't like the stringy things. All right, here we go. <coughs> There's a big ass banana, man. <coughs> this is harder than I thought. Hold on. How big is this banana? Hey, this banana is like the size of my hand. And I have pretty big hands. This banana has to be like literally a foot long. <laughs> I'm done. But I'm going to eat a banana now. Virtual Exploits asked, what do you edit with? Great question, Virtual Exploits. Um, I, that is your name, right? Yeah, that's your name. Um, well, I edit with a number of programs. My main program for my videos is Sony Vegas Pro 13. But <clears throat> what I actually bought was Sony Vegas uh, Pro 13 Suite, which gave me um, a lot of other programs with it. So I have that, but I also have... Uh, um, Soundforge Pro, I think that's the 11th one. I have DVD Architect 6, that's just for burning discs and things like that. But Soundforge Pro, that's what I use for um, uh, editing audio, uh, making that sound good and everything. Um, uh, for my thumbnails and things like that, I use Photoshop. Photoshop CC is what I use. Um, I also have HitFilm, which I mainly use as plugins that... Uh, I can use in Sony Vegas. They work together, but HitFilm is another video editing program. I also have um, Nectar Elements, which is an attachment for SoundForge. Um, I have some other things, but that's mainly what I use. Are those programs there? But the bet, the most important one is definitely Sony Vegas Pro 13. Great editing program. Moving on. Okay, so I believe that's the end of the questions on YouTube that I got. Um, but I also got messaged some questions on Facebook by who I was talking about before, by Christopher Basaldu. I still don't know if I'm saying your name not, right, but I think I am. I don't know. Um, but he messaged me on YouTube uh, some questions, which I am more than willing to answer, so I'm going to get to those now. I mean, he messaged me on Facebook. Did I say YouTube? I meant Facebook. Um, by the way, if you want to message me on Facebook, all you got to do is exactly what he did. Look at my, um, look at my channel. Um, you'll see... Uh, on the channel art, you'll see links to different uh, websites. Click on the Facebook one. It'll take you to my Facebook page. Um, or you can just search Finfante on Facebook. You'll probably find me. Um, and you can always message me on there, and I'll always answer. Okay, so Christopher Basaldu asks, Question number one. Do you have any pets? Um, I do, actually. You've seen uh, in this video quite a few of them. Now, my dad's, where I'm normally recording, I only have one right now, which is my dog, Bubba. Um, I didn't name him. <laughs> um, had him for a long time. He's a little tiny Shih Tzu, uh, but I love him to death. Um, and yeah, 
I have him. Here, I have more pets. I have, um, we've got Rocky. He's a uh, black lab. We've got Brutus, who is a King German Shepherd. Uh, we have Stash, who is a tuxedo cat that you saw earlier. And we have Lycidas, who is also a tuxedo cat, who is Stash's brother. Um, oh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just show you my pets. So this one is Rocky. Say hello, Rocky. Rocky, say hello. <laughs> Say hello, Rocky. Say hello to the camera. I, I, don't, I don't even know what that's seeing. There we go. This is my boy. Say, I know me on your camera. You smell like Fritos. He's actually a little bit bigger than he looked just then in the camera. And this is Brutus. I don't know why they're both sleeping, but it's good timing because normally they'd be running around and fucking the... Well, he wouldn't. He's just kind of a lazy little fat thing, but <laughs> he would. He'd be running around fucking everything up. Hey, Brutus. How you doing, boy? How you doing, boy? Yeah? You happy? <laughs> Hi, buddy. How you doing? Brutus, what are you doing? Okay, uh, I got you two wound up. I'm sorry. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. It's a bad idea getting Brutus. How you doing, bud? Uh, Brutus is probably our, our, well, he's definitely our biggest dog. Um, he's uh, about 105 pounds now, but he's going to grow to be 150, and he's a King German Shepherd. He's a good boy. Isn't he a good boy? He's only eight months right now, so. <laughs> Sorry for the mess. I kind of just threw shit down to get it out of the way for the video. There is Stash. Being a cat. And Lysidus is probably just upstairs somewhere sleeping. Um, oh, wait. No, there he is. Hey. Lysidus. Lysidus. And that's Lysidus. So those are all my pets. Um, and Bubba, unfortunately, is not here, so you're just gonna have to, uh, see him and just look at old videos. He's, he's in some of them. I know he is. Um, uh, now I've had a lot more pets in my lifetime. That's all I have currently. Um, and nice job, Chris, because your question, uh, Brutus is now laying here trying to bite my legs. So, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, but seriously, thank you. Question number two, do you work out? Do I work out? Do I work out? Hold up. Who are you asking? Oh my God, I'm pale. You're asking me if I work out, boy. I really need to get a tan. I'm fucking gross. Um, let's put this shirt back on. Okay, let's not let's not do that again. But to answer your question, Christopher, yes, I actually do work out, and I have for a long time. Um, actually, I've been interested in working out my entire life, to be honest. Um, see, my dad and my mom, they've always worked out a lot. And when I was little, I always tried to uh, mimic them, kind of. And they had weight sets and everything, and I was always interested in it. And believe it or not, when I was really young, I'm talking like four years old, I did learn a lot of things about working out, but of course I couldn't really work out like I can now because it'll mess up everything. Um, so I did practice push-ups and sit-ups only a little bit because I wasn't allowed to go too far because you can get fucked up. But um, I did actually really want to my whole life. Um, I did still start early though. Um, when I was nine, it was when I really started working out, I guess. Um, I started, uh, we went to the store and got eight pound weights, which at the time to me were very heavy. And I used them for everything. Um, I started doing like three upper body workouts a day and three lower body the, uh, the next day. Um, and it's funny because at the time these, these weights were a lot. And now I look at them, there's these stupid little weights that don't weigh anything. But yeah, I started when I was nine. When I was 11, I was really on a schedule of, like I said, like doing the three one day, th uh, three upper body one day, three lower body the next. And then um, that upgraded to like five upper body one day, five lower the next. Uh, by the time I was 12 or 13, I started going to the gym with my dad. I learned a lot there. I learned different parts of your muscles and everything, different exercises. I really started working a lot more. Um, by the time I was 14 or 15, I was doing like professional bodybuilder workouts, really, actually. Um, my biggest year of growth uh, was uh, – I'm not trying to sound like a douche here, but I'm answering your question. Uh, my biggest year of growth was when I was going from 15 – um, when I was 15 years old, going to 16. And my goal uh, that was to be... Hi, Lucidus. My goal was to be um, at least 200 pounds by the time I was... Hey, what are you guys doing? 
Sorry, it's my dogs. But my goal is to be at least 200 pounds by the time I was 16. Uh, now, most of you don't want to gain weight, but I did because I was always naturally skinny and uh, not, didn't have much muscle. But um, I went from being 160 pounds to 200 pounds in a year. That was my biggest growth, year of growth. 100, 160 when I was 15, 200 when I was 16. So um, um, now I'm like 215. Uh, but yeah, I always wanted to work out because, see, I was always a scrawny, skinny kid. Naturally, I am a really skinny person who doesn't really have any muscle or fat. I still am kind of skinny, I guess, but not like I was at all. I did not have any muscle or any fat. I was just bone, and it was awful. I was always taller than other kids, but I was just, I was genetically meant to be tall, wimpy, and skinny. Um, that's why I worked so hard to try and correct that, you know? Uh, I used to get bullied in school a lot when I was a little kid. And I, I hated how all the other kids were bigger than I was. Even though I was taller, they were much bigger. And I was, I wanted to be able to defend myself. And um, I didn't want to be this skinny, wimpy bastard my whole life. So I worked out a lot. And I still do. And um, now I'm a lot bigger than most people I know. And it's because I've been doing it for eight years and putting a lot into it. Um, I hate... Uh, you know what's funny? Uh, because... I, or, you know what's funny is that I see now... Um, like you'll see it on Facebook and everything or any social media, all my friends, once we, once we hit a certain age, all, of course the, the guys I'm talking about, they started posting everywhere is about like, you know, fitness urgh, and they post pictures of their shirts off, they're flexing and everything and all this shit. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, dude, you're such a douche. Even if you did look good, you'd be a douche. But like most of my, the people posting these, they don't even look good. They don't. And I've been working out since I was nine, and the reason you don't know that is because I don't mention it all the time. Because I'm not like, hey, did you know I work out? Because I'm not fucking Superman for working out. I just wanted to work out, and I do it. Um, people brag about things they don't even have the right to brag about. And I'm not trying to sound like a douche here, but of all my friends, I kind of have the most right to brag about working out, and I don't at all. You never see me with shirtless pictures, although a couple seconds ago I was just flexing, but that was for a totally different reason. That was just to be retarded. It wasn't for the, <laughs> for the body. <laughs> Um, but, um, you don't see me posting pictures of myself flexing shirtless, like, gotta hit the gym, pumping iron, eh, 2017, <laughs> you know, like that wet symbol and shit. Stop it, you two. Um, it's just douchey. It's just so fucking douchey. And I see people posting pictures all the time who have no muscle tone. And I'm like, I have so much more of a right to post than you do. And I don't because I, j just fuck off. This <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting too, uh wound up in this and this video has been a long time sorry this is all over the place i've said this a lot before this always happens after you haven't recorded for a while it happens to me at least when i haven't recorded for a while and come back you're kind of all over the place especially with this retarded setup i've been going hey hey my two dogs sorry it's actually it's always brutus fucking with rocky he always goes over and starts attacking him playing but annoying him question number three by christopher Pistaldu is out of Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, what is your favorite? Um, I don't know. I would, I've definitely played 1 the most. I guess, I guess I'll say Black Ops 1. I kind of like that a lot because it was just, um, at the time it was really neat. It was new. It was really, I don't know. I always thought it was cool and I played the hell out of it. And yeah, I guess I'd say Black Ops 1, although I'm not a huge gamer. Which is weird, because people are like, you know, aren't you a gamer? You, you play games all the time. Not, not really. I'm not really a gamer. Uh, but I do play a lot of video games. I do like video games. But I don't know. I'm not, like, real, real into it like some people. But, um, yeah, definitely Black Ops 1, I guess. Definitely Black Ops 1, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. Question number four. Favorite color. Good question, but was already answered earlier. But the answer still is black. Um... And uh, I do want to mention real quick that Christopher Basaldu, his other channel is Nonstop Dancing Xavier. I believe he's actually the cameraman for that channel. Um, uh, I'll, I'll put something up here so you can see how to spell that. Um, and uh, also, his Instagram uh, is for Christopher, as we're talking about, is OPP Chris Basaldu. I'll probably flash a picture up too. Um, I wanted to uh, give him a shout out. He's been a lot for me. I always give you guys. Try to give you attention when you give it to me. So, um, you know, yeah. After recording for what's been an hour, I can finally say that I think that's it for the Q&A. Yes, I've been recording for an hour. God, I can fucking babble on. And I have a lot to cut out. I was in all over the place. The editing in this is going to be pretty awful, but whatever. I'm glad to be back, guys. I am back on YouTube, so don't worry. 
Um, I'm coming back, and these problems should be pretty much fixed or a lot better now because of the laptop, so that's really awesome. But anyways, guys, that's all for the Q&A. Thank you guys so much for the questions. If you want to see another Q&A or any other videos you want to see, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, and feel free to ask questions for the Q&A if I announce another one, and you will be put in the next one. Or um, you will potentially be put in the next one if I happen to have so many questions that, uh, you know, I couldn't fit you in. And if that happens, that'd be amazing, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um, although, I'm not saying it'd be amazing, I couldn't get you, but you know what I mean. Yeah, normally for Q&A, you only have one question per person, but since I don't have a lot of fans, of course I'll let you ask multiple ones. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments below. And, um, you know, as you know, I have absolutely no life and nothing better to do with my life, so I love hearing feedback, and I always respond to your questions and comments and shit like that. And I, uh, I hope to see you guys watching the next video, and as always, have a fantastic day! God, my head was everywhere during that fucking video. This editing process is gonna be awful. I feel like that, that video was complete dog shit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Who am I even talking to? Well, I guess you. I mean, I'm not really gonna add this in, but I don't know. Okay. <laughs>